Let's focus our attention on the cells for just a minute. How does transport happen across the plasma membrane? Okay, so there are a couple of different types of transport that we will be um, looking at because they're very important. And we're gonna break it down first off just in terms of whether transport can happen kind of directly across the plasma membrane or whether it needs some sort of some sort of helper molecule. Okay, so we could talk about um, transport that is non-carrier mediated. And what this is referring to is that there are no special proteins needed, rather a molecule is just able to diffuse across the plasma membrane directly. And that's called simple diffusion. It doesn't require an input of energy. Uh, it's just literally the molecules are able to squeeze through, squeeze past the phospholipid bilayer. This is true, this is possible for a lot of nonpolar molecules, right? Because these phospholipids, um, if you try and send a nonpolar molecule through, then that's gonna be okay, uh, okay to slide past these hydrophobic tails. So a lot of times nonpolar molecules can diffuse in this way. Um, and good examples that are very relevant in physiology, oxygen would be a nonpolar molecule, carbon dioxide is another nonpolar molecule, okay? uh, also steroid hormones. So these are definitely going to be relevant, tying back in with respiration, right? Oxygen has to make its way into the cells and then carbon dioxide has to, to make its way out of the cells, back over into the bloodstream. So simple diffusion allows that to happen. There are also small ions, small things that are polar, which can diffuse through the plasma membrane, but that's because there are special channels that allow them to diffuse through. So this doesn't require the ions to slide past the phospholipids directly, rather there's some sort of a protein channel that they can slide through. So that's still called simple diffusion. Um, this is still not requiring an input of energy. And then we will also be quite focused in on water in this chapter. In just a little bit, we're gonna be talking about osmosis. That's another type of simple diffusion that can take place across the plasma membrane, but it's due to the presence of special channels. So we'll come back to that in just a little bit. Another type of transport that can happen across the plasma membrane is what we would call carrier mediated. This implies that there's some sort of a carrier protein involved in the transport. A great example of this is facilitated diffusion of glucose. And essentially what happens when glucose is being transported into a cell is there is a protein as shown in yellow here, and the glucose molecule will bind to the protein and then the protein undergoes some sort of a shape change, a conformation change, which causes the other side to open up. And then the glucose molecule can get through to the other side of the plasma membrane. So that would be facilitated diffusion. This usually requires an input of energy. So we call this active transport as opposed to passive transport. And as we already know, in so many cases, ATP is the energy carrier molecule that cells make use of. So a lot of these proteins, uh, carrier proteins, will directly use ATP. And we'll be seeing examples of that as we go forward.